space has not been immune to the effects of COVID-19. The economic impact is being felt by the industry in Europe. Politicians warn the sector could lose 1 billion euros by the end of the year. The industry employs 230,000 people, generates 8 billion in equipment manufacturing and 60 billion in services and data. We expect our uh, private customers, such as the uh, SATCOM operator, to not uh, procure the uh, usual number of satellites they were procuring uh, to the space industry. It's clear that we need a huge effort, institutional effort to support our research and development activities. And, and indeed, this is something that is not uh, fully grasped by the uh, European member states. One visible setback is the delay of the Sentinel-6 satellite launch, which has been pushed back to November. It's part of the Copernicus programme, which monitors the atmosphere and sea level rise. Before the crisis hit, Europe was already lagging behind in the space race. In 2019, China held 34 launches, while the EU counted just two. On Friday, EU space ministers will discuss how the industry could contribute to a sustainable economic recovery from the COVID-19 crisis. The European Space Agency's scientists stress that cutting-edge monitoring of climate change is crucial to achieving carbon neutrality by 2050. They need a lot of uh, steps to be undertaken in order to get there, uh, in terms of pollution levels, uh, uh, of uh, factories, industry, traffic and so on, but also agriculture, forestry, uh, many sectors are really heavily impacted. And satellites monitor uh, these changes, but they can also help uh, not only to monitor, but to help decision makers giving information that is relevant to uh, implement good policies. Other programs like Galileo satellites also generate innovation in sectors such as the supply of goods, telemedicine services and 5G, to name just a few. The new proposal for the EU budget sees space lose out with 14.8 billion euros, slightly down on the previous spending period. MEPs want to see more spending in the sector, which boosts research and innovation. These are important programs that need financing because they bring high return in terms of the economy, as well as what is done in terms of research in the framework of the Horizon Europe program. I think that is essentially the small and medium-sized companies with their innovative spirit will use the space data to create new services that can be very useful to all citizens. One way to boost Europe's space industry is by incorporating it into the defence and security initiatives, something which would require political will.